waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. By the way, they have public commons in England. They have public commons in Russia. They have public commons even in communist China. The U.S. is one of the most oppressive now against the use of public land which they have got 90% of, he corrected me, I thought it was 87, it's now 90% is federal in uh, Nevada. I was using numbers from six, seven years ago. They've already gotten 3% more, count the state land, I guess only 4% is privately held. That's not enough for government. They want 100%, so they can then hand it over to the multinationals. And you know, you listen to that old guy whose family's been out there for six, seven generations, they beat his daughter up. They beat his son up. A bunch of guys in uniforms with guns. If you're off the side of a state highway where you have the grazing rights and water rights under state law since 1877 in the county courthouse and the feds come over and jump on you and shove your head in the ground, they're just, they're just it's unbelievable. I told the story of running into BLM police at uh, Big Ben last year and I saw this guy twice, and I saw him bugging his eyes out at people when he was walking around by the visitor center, just walking around with his arms out. He was like six foot five, big black guy, just staring at everybody like he wanted to kill him. And then I saw him walking out by a trailhead by a parking lot the, the next day, and I said, hi. And the guy literally showed his teeth at me. I was like, well, you're not too friendly. And the guy started, I mean, just totally on a power trip, I'm God, I'm God, like the TSA agents do. And then I said hi to some uh, other ones, and they wouldn't talk to me. Because I'm American scum. I'm a piece of trash. They're important. They've got something to do. And of all the police I've run into, and federal police, I've run into a bunch of federal marshals. They've always been really nice. I'm sure they do bad stuff. I've run into FBI. They're usually more robotic, but not, you know, not too bad. Because most of them are compartmentalized, you know, doing real jobs. Uh, cops are usually pretty nice, but man, I tell you, you run into ATF or BLM because they're there to steal a right. BLM's there to steal property rights and harass people, so they got to have people that'll do it. And ATF's there to steal rights. And so they're jerks. And they're beyond jerks when they're slamming people's heads in the ground. And I, I, I can't just imagine a bunch of armed guys show up when you got a camera on a state highway and act like you've done something and throw your face in the ground. I mean, that's North Korea. These people are scum. And when the Civil War starts, man, your butt's not going to be worth a nickel. And I don't want to hurt you. I don't want people to hurt you. Why do I want you to have a bad life? Why do I, why do I want to have a war with you morons that got all your sniper scopes and, you know, trained to be a Billy Bad Butt, you know, uh, troops? When, when, when all you're out doing is stealing people's land and writing tickets and harassing people for a collapsing government. Just any excuse for Ruby Ridge. For two years, they tried to make that family inform on local groups they weren't even part of, Randy Weaver. And it all came out that finally they were sick, needed money. And his, quote, buddy kept telling him, I'll pay a thousand. Just saw this shotgun off for me because you were a Green Beret and you know how to saw off shotguns. And it was the fact that he was a decorated Green Beret from Vietnam is why they hated him. And it was literally, you got the transcripts of the radio stuff that came out in Congress. And they were like, we'll kill this Green Beret. He thinks he's tough, blah, blah, blah. When they were there shooting his kid in the back, shooting his wife in the head. And, and the guys doing it, none of them were even combat vets. They were all these guys that have been in the military but never been in combat, and they wanted to kill a Green Beret. By the way, I was talking to Dr. Group yesterday, and he goes, stop calling me a Green Beret. I know you think that's funny, but people are calling up, you know, they haven't had Green Berets for 30 years, Alex. I told you I was in Army Special Operations, and blah, blah, blah. Plus, I don't even want that on air. So stop saying I'm a Green Beret. <laughs> They call them, this is ridiculous. Anyways, folks, but, but Randy Weaver was a Green Beret in Vietnam. We'll be right back. So was uh, the guy that exposed the weatherman.
uh, who died last year. What's his name? We'll be right back. Russia itself. Again, not defending Russia. Russia didn't start this, though. Under common law, that means the people running our lives are the bad guys. Well, yeah, because they're not Americans. They're globalists. We're going to get into that. Russia is preparing for war on Sweden. Leads to security service concerns. London Independent. Volcanoes all over the ring of fire erupting right now. Is the U.S. next as Yellowstone begins to burble? Hank Aaron compares Republicans that oppose Obamacare to the KKK. House Republicans are quietly giving in to Obamacare. New Republic celebrates that. Well, yeah, they're giving in to what they wrote. <laughs> so we're going to be getting into that. Uh, I shouldn't laugh about all this. Uh, it's all coming up, ladies and gentlemen. And beyond shutting down cattle ranching in this country and in Canada uh, so the globalists can ship it all in from countries they control, the next level of controlling cattle is genetically engineer on the Financial Times reports on that. We're going to be breaking that down as well. This isn't Alex Jones reporting this. This is uh, out of the Express mainstream newspaper. Apocalypse Now, why a rare astrological event last night could herald the end of days. I don't believe that, but a lot of globalists do, and they tend to launch attacks on astrological time frames and things. We're going to be discussing that coming up. That's a large spectrum. We have a Darren McBrain report that he shot for the Nightly News last night. And uh, I'll tell you, the Nightly News is getting really great. They go out and do all these special reports and interviews and everything and, and turn them around that same day uh, with just so much research put into them. What a great team we've got. I just thank my lucky stars every day for Darren McBreen and Josh Owens and just uh, John Bowne and Rob Dew and Marcos Morales and Jakari Jackson and Leanne McAdoo and Kurt Nemo and Kit Daniels. Uh, and, of course, uh, Adon Salazar and Rob Jacobson and the folks that work as auxiliaries. They don't work here officially, but they contribute. Anthony Gucciardi, Mikhail Thalen, Paul Watson, Steve Watson, Ehan Watson. Uh, just, just and I'm, I'm not m mentioning everybody because I can't. We've got 40-something people here, but we should get a whole list of folks and just thank them. Not that they even want to be thanked. It's just that it's so good that we've, over the years, developed this great team. What a brain trust InfoWars is. And I want to give the phone number out to talk about the situation in Nevada. How, how have you been harassed by the BLM? How have you been treated by park rangers? About 10 years ago, park rangers were getting really rude. Now they're super nice and helpful everywhere I go. And I go to state and federal parks, the people's parks, supposedly. But man, BLM and armed park rangers, meaner than rattlesnakes. And they'll watch illegal aliens on the Texas border walk right across it there and write people tickets that got, you know, beer at their campsite. I was sitting there in a hot springs a week and a half ago, right on the Rio Grande River, and there's no crime really to speak of down there because you're 150 miles away from any other cities. So the, the Mexico-Texas border is very dangerous and, you know, like, you know, down by Luevo Laredo and places, but there's there's nothing really going on there except illegals that go back and forth, mainly selling trinkets, but I didn't see any of them this time. And, uh, uh, and of course, they got open range cattle and sheep right across on the National Park. It's a giant Mexican Chihuahua National Park, bigger than Big Ben. And guess what? You don't see federales down there. I actually looked it up messing with them. No one would even think, as corrupt as Mexico is, that you don't let the locals that have been there for hundreds of years run their cows and their sheep. I'll tell you why, because whether it's Chiapas or northern Mexico, they won't put up with it, folks. That's how pathetic Americans are. We just put up with not being able to use open range. Here's what you're supposed to do in Russia, in China, in Mongolia, they got open range people with sheep out in the big badlands. Because everybody goes. They bring their sheep into the city. They sell them. That creates meat for China, meat for Russia, meat for America. You're supposed to like farmers and ranchers. But uh, I'm sitting there with some of my buddies, and it's the middle of the day. And I'm sitting in the natural hot springs on the edge of the Rio Grande. And all of a sudden, we hear, what are you doing? And we turn around, and there's one armed BLM park ranger. And he's got his hand on his gun. And it was like in a movie where they say, get ready to draw. He sat with this long, pregnant pause. And I guess he knew who I was. and just stared at me. 
He goes, that water is a little hot, not very safe. I guess they want to shut it down or something. Probably like 103 degrees. It was awesome. He just kept sitting there going, uh, like he was going to intimidate me or I was going to crap my swim shorts or something. And I just sat there and we're just like, okay. I was drinking mineral water, you know, in my uh, plastic cup. He was just looking at us like, can he find something to get us for? Something to, there was like three of us just sitting there doing nothing in the middle of the day, taking a few days off. Just sitting there. Just, you know, I'm not allowed to. I'm, I'm scum. I just pay your salary, everything. You just suck my blood 24-7 not because you want to squat on me and let me know I'm trash. Then I ran into a firefighter. They were down there doing controlled burns because um, they said it was an invasive cane species. And he goes, oh, we all listen. We all like you, blah, blah, blah. We saw those videos you did about how the park people are mean. He goes, I talked to him. I'm not going to say anymore. Uh, so, I mean, I'm not saying they're all bad. It, it, it's just that it's out of control, folks. The government wants us to think we're scum. Where do you think this is going uh, out there? I mean, this old guy, this old Cliven Bundy, he, he's just like what America.